guys, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. Alam ko guys, na inubangan nyo tong video na to. Ang daming nagre-request na to. Alam nyo yung feeling na isa to sa mga smartphones na most requested talaga. And probably the reason why is yung teaser ko nga sa inyo dun sa Facebook page natin na sobrang daming na in love because of the camera design and of course the color. Sadly guys, medyo na-disappoint ko kayo on this part kasi hindi fancy sky na color yung i-unbox natin but the night black. So yes, we will be unboxing and reviewing the Vivo S1 Pro. We will also answer the question guys dito sa video natin if Pro version nga talaga siya ng Vivo S1, may changes ba talaga? Should you upgrade or purchase the Vivo S1 Pro. But please do take note na early verdict ko pa lang to ha, kasi hindi pa ito yung talagang full review, yung talagang na-experience ko yung device. I'll be doing na lang a separate video on that kasi medyo bago pa lang to sa akin I think 3 days or 4 days. For the price, bago tayo magsimula, the Vivo S1 Pro guys retails for 15,999 pesos. And the non-pro version nung unang nirelease siya, retails for 14,999 pesos. Pero ang alam ko kasi guys, nag-price drop na yung Vivo S1, yung non-pro. But still, if you were to compare it, 1,000 pesos lang yung difference nila nung hindi siya nag-price drop. Which is actually good guys, kasi konti lang yung tinaas niya. Pero syempre, sana malaki naman yung in-improve niya in terms of its specifications. Without further ado, let us proceed to the unboxing. This is how the box of the Vivo S1 Pro looks like. Medyo mas maganda yung box niya guys kung i-compare natin siya doon sa non-pro version. And kung makikita niyo dito, 8GB of RAM with 128GB of internal storage. So yes, we only have one variant for this device. Tsaka yung pagka-S niya guys, may pagka-holographic yung design niya. Which is parang ganun rin yung effect ng fancy sky ng Vivo S1 Pro. The smaller box that has, wow, dito na nakalagay yung ating USB-C port. We have a free jelly case and medyo nakapal naman siya compared to other free jelly cases na nabubuksan ko. Warranty card, quick start guide, uh, and of course, yung ating panandot, the SIM ejector tool. And we also have here the USB-C cable. And the phone itself, guys, wala na siya sa plastic kasi nga napaglaruan at nagamit na natin siya. The power brick and the wired earphones. So, yan guys, this is how the Vivo S1 Pro looks like. And ito nga yung tinatawag nilang night black. Nothing very special about the color, guys. Reflective siya pero wala siyang gradient effect na ganun compared sa fancy sky. It's plain lang and if ayaw nyo ng flashy color katulad nyo ng fancy sky, gusto nyo simply lang... I'll definitely recommend the night black. Pero kasi guys, kapansin-pansin talaga, hindi yung kulay niya, but the rear cameras. Usually, mga meron tayo, circle yung shape like we have with the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, Nokia, OnePlus 70, and even the Vivo Nex 3. But this time, Vivo decided to go for a diamond-shaped camera house. Okay lang ba sa'yo yung diamond shape niya, Mary? Yes, okay lang naman siya sa akin guys. It's not weird at all, although nakakapan yung bago lang of course. For the cameras, we have 48 megapixels for the main camera, 8 megapixels for the ultra wide, 2 megapixels for the bokeh, and 2 megapixels for the macro camera. And kung mapapansin nyo guys, sa ilalim ng diamond shape niya, nandun yung ating LED flash. And obviously, the 48 megapixels main camera is at the center. Meron siyang color red na bilog. To actually recognize it easily. Para naman guys, di ba, pag may pinipituran kayo, alam nung pinipituran nyo kung saan sila titingin. Kasi sa dami ng cameras ngayon, alam nyo naman, apat, lima, may lima ba? Laging sinasabi sa akin nung pinipituran ko minsan, saan ba ako titingin? Ang daming cameras. And also guys, na-appreciate ko na may red accent yung power and lock button niya. Kasi nga mas madaling mahanap. Kasi all black nga yung device, di ba? And then sa ibabaw niya, nandun yung ating volume rocker. And then on the left part of the phone, andito yung ating SIM card tray. Expandable storage siya up to 256GB. Other than that, wala nang iba guys sa left part. And then sa ibabaw, mayroon tayong headphone jack and a microphone. And then sa ilalim naman niya guys, we have speaker grill, USB-C port, and another microphone. For the display, mayroon tayong 6.38 inches Super AMOLED display with 1080 by 2340 pixels. And if you guys remember yung Vivo S1, the non-pro version, 
6.38 inches dan yung size ng display niya. So, definitely, parehas lang sila. Hindi siya lumaki, hindi rin siya lumiit. And parehas din po sila ng predecessor niya na Vivo S1 na merong always-on display. And merong in-display fingerprint sensor and a face unlock. Pero na-notice ko lang guys, with the Vivo S1 Pro, parang mas bumagal siya compared to the Vivo S1. This is for the in-display. Hindi ko alam kung ako lang to, pero sige guys, ipag-compare natin side by side. Okay, so hindi naman pala sila masyadong nagkakalayo, parehas lang din sila ng bilis. And may notch pa rin tayo guys, like the Vivo S1, but this one, meron siyang 32 megapixels selfie camera. Oh, and parehas rin pala sila guys ng front camera. Vivo S1 and the Vivo S1 Pro, same 32 megapixels. Mas okay siguro sana kung ginawa din lang motorized pop-up camera yung Vivo S1 Pro para lang may full view display tayo, ba? Diba? But at least this device mas mabilis ito kasi nga meron na siyang 8GB of RAM with 128GB of internal storage. Yung Vivo S1 before guys, 6GB RAM lang yung meron siya. I think dalawa yung variant niya, 4GB and 6GB RAM. I'll be flashing the sample pictures that I took gamit itong Vivo S1 Pro guys. Nakapag-picture naman ako kahit Sandali lang. But mapapansin nyo guys na yung mga rear camera photos natin definitely nag-improved siya and may additional camera nga tayo kasi yung Vivo S1, triple camera lang yung meron and the Vivo S1 Pro, we have quad camera. Meron na tayong ngayong dedicated macro camera. Plus, ang Vivo S1 guys, 16 megapixels lang yung main shooter niya. While this device, 48 megapixels. Next, for the chipset of the Vivo S1 Pro, meron po tayong Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 with octa-core processor. Previously, the Vivo S1, it has the MediaTek Helio P65. Ang pagkakaalam ko guys, ang equivalent ng MediaTek Helio P65 sa Snapdragon is the Qualcomm Snapdragon Dragon 665. I think ito ay base lang naman sa pagkakaalam ko. Correct me if I'm wrong sa comment section. I'll be happy to correct myself. Pero kung yun nga yung case, equivalent ni Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 si MediaTek Helio P65 it means wala namang nagbago sa chipset niya. Naging Snapdragon lang. But definitely, I noticed a lot of improvements in terms of opening apps at pag-open ng medyo mas matataas na memory ng mga games like the Asphalt 9. Next guys, itong Vivo S1 Pro, meron siyang Funtouch OS 9.2 based on Android 9 Pie. Same with the Vivo S1 guys. Meron din siyang 4,500 mAh battery capacity. The device that I see guys na pwede natin i-compare sa Vivo S1 Pro is yung Realme XT dahil halos same naman sila ng price. Ito yun na yung kita kong pinaka kalaban niya guys sa market. So that is it for our first impressions and unboxing of the Vivo S1 Pro. Pag-uusapan natin itong Vivo S1 Pro sa mga susunod na araw. But as of now, for my early verdict of the Vivo S1 Pro, I'm really impressed for Vivo kasi sila ata yung unang-unang smartphone na merong diamond-shaped design sa smartphone nila at mid-range phone yung unang nagkaroon. As of now, hindi ko pa masagot guys if it is a good buy. But definitely, it is a good upgrade from the Vivo S1. I saw a lot of difference guys, especially sa bilis ng pag-open ko ng apps at less lagi. So, ayun lang guys. Again, it's your tech girl Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys!